What I'm going to do, I'm going back and I'm going to modify Chrissy's account. So I'm going to the Object Explorer here. We've got Chrissy's login here. I'm going to double click on Chrissy's login. And I'm now going to go to the server roles here. And I want to put Chrissy in the DB Creator. OK? You got it. We say OK. By the way, if you want to view the Transact SQL, you click on Script. And you can see all it's doing is it's running a stored procedure called SP Add Serve Role Member. Tell it the login name and then the role name that you want that login to be placed in. Okay. All right, so Chrissy is now a member of the DB Creators. So let's log in as Chrissy and let's put it to the test. Can Chrissy create a database? Can she create the Chrissy DB database? We say execute. And sure enough, when we go over to the databases, oh no, I don't see it. Well, as soon as we refresh, there's the Chrissy DB. Okay, so you can see the Chrissy DB. We can go down to the users. You see that database owner, the DBO user. When we double click on that, you're going to see that the database owner is in fact the login name Chrissy. Okay? So Chrissy is the owner. If I'm kind of going a little fast for you with the DBO, understand we're going to get to the, the discussion at the database level a little bit later. Okay, so we're, we're by far no way finished with that. Okay, now I, I'm logged in, remember here on the left-hand side, I am the administrator still. So I'm going to create another login, this time for Terry. So we'll give Terry a login. And I don't want Terry to have any server role memberships. I say OK. Do you see Terry? And if we double click on Terry, sure enough, he has the only membership that he has would be the public role. Chrissy is friends with Terry. And so she's logged in. We're logged in as Chrissy. I'll show you a way to determine that. You could say S user underscore S name as the login. That will tell you what the login that you're in. So that might be a good one to make a note of right there. S user underscore name as login. And so we could see Chrissy's logged in and she says I want to make the login Terry a member of the DB creator. Now what do you think? Do you think that's going to work or do you think it'll fail? It's going to work. Remember that if you are the member of a server role, you have the ability to add other members to that role. So sure enough, when we go over here and we can look at the server roles under here and double click on DB Creator, there it is. There's Terry. Even though I, the DBA, did not want Terry to be a server role member, because Chrissy is a server role member, she can add other logins to that same server role. And so now Terry, let's let's just continue this one step further. Let's go now and let me close out. Close out of this. We'll make a new query. We'll log in this time as Terry. And Terry says create database Terry DB. You think it'll work? Yes, it works because he's a database creator. Sure enough, you see Terry DB right there at the bottom. And he says, you know what? I want to use Chrissy's DB. Okay, so he tries to use Chrissy DB. Oh, now he gets an error message. Terry is not able to access the database. No user account. Terry is not a user. Okay. So Terry says, well, I'll teach you, Chrissy. I'll drop that whole database. And of course, SQL Server says, no, Terry, you can't do that. You don't even have a user account. But it's gone. It did actually delete Chrissy's database. Even though Terry's not a user, he could delete that database. That was the gotcha. Remember I told you in the last video how evil and dangerous that was? All right, suggestion, don't do it this way. Don't give people the create database uh, the DB creator role membership. Stick around because in the next couple of videos I'm going to show you a better way.